All right, hey guys, this is Edward Bennett with EB3D Customs. And today what I'd like to show you is grayscale on basswood. So grayscale image mode, and what that does is that gives it a minimum or a maximum value on power and really gives some good 3D shading, some depthy looking illusions. Um, a lot of images will work for this and uh, I've got a pretty good method. So let's get right to it. All right, guys, so now we're going to pick an image. I'm going to try to find one that I haven't done before just to do a fresh edit on it. Uh, what I look for in a grayscale image, honestly, is going to be good, good whites and good darks and then some good shading in between to give it that good 3D effect. I like this wolf right here, so we're going to go with it just as an example. Uh, this is the first time I've done this picture, and as I mentioned in my previous video, I like to do a smaller piece at first if it's the first time. Let's switch that to my grayscale and take a look at the settings. So when you go to set your minimum and maximum power, what you want to do there is, is do a material test. And for your minimum power, it needs to be the value that's right before it marks the, the material. The max value needs to be a good dark marking. And what that does is grayscale lets the power, uh, it's actually variable power, which means it can ramp up the power the darker the image is, and it gives it less power the, the whiter the image is. And that gives you some really good 3D shading uh, to get that 2.5 uh, shading that everyone's looking for. My DPI is set up for 254, which is correct for my laser. So everything looks good here. I've ran the test. Um, if you guys want to see more on material tests and how to set these values, just let me know in the comments and I'm happy to make a video about that. So I always like to take the image and adjust it a little bit. I've noticed that on grayscale, you don't want to enhance it too much because you really want that gray in between the darks and the whites. You know, 50 is done pretty good. Usually around 50 to 150 is good. But 150 is going to give me a little more than what I'm looking for. So 100 meeting in the middle, it actually looks pretty good. I'm going to go back to 50. And since this is grayscale, I'm only going to enhance that 50. I like the, the depth that I'm seeing on the screen there. And you'll, you'll get that. The more you practice, it'll really come to you and you'll see on the screen uh, what you're looking for. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a cut square around that. We'll make that our three inches by three inches. And then we will center those on each other by clicking that button right there and shift clicking them. So that has my program made, uh, my cut settings for the 10 watt Ender, Falcon Ender I should say, is eight inches a minute at 100% power. Uh, sometimes it will cut in two passes, sometimes it takes three passes, so I have it set as three as a safe bet, but uh, always check that, you know, test that, because each, each module is gonna be different. Even another 10 watt Falcon module could have slightly different settings to get the same results. So let's, uh, let's move on. I'll actually show a little bit of the laser running, and then we'll check out the final product. Thank you guys for tuning in. Okay guys, so we just started the program. I do have a little bit of air assist going, not very much, just a little to keep the smoke from getting to my lens. When it starts cutting, I will turn the air assist up so that'll help it cut a little better. Mine isn't automated, but there is ways that you can automate your air assist that's really functional. I'm gonna come back when this makes it a little further and we'll see what progress looks like. Okay, we're about five minutes in. And I'm liking what I'm seeing. I've got some good darks, I've got some good lights, and some shading in between. So I'm gonna step out of the room, let it get a little closer to cutting, and then crank my air assist up. And then we'll take a look at the final product. All right, so as we can see, it's looking very good. Shading's turning out the way I wanted it, and it's gonna look very 3D by the time it's said and done. All right, let's pull it out of there and see what it looks like. Turned out very well. Great. 
Now I can blow it up and uh, make it bigger for any shows that I want to sell it at. Wolves go great at any shows. So anyway, I really appreciate you guys tuning in. If you want me to cover something more in depth or want to see something specific in the future, feel free to comment. Thanks, guys.